Windy. Windy and wet. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's up everybody? It's a little windy. I just want to check in. Uh, just got done. I was so mm. That chili though. That chili. That chili. That is the best part of this ice bowl every year. I will drive across the country for this chili. It's amazing. First round's done. Uh, we, uh, I got my fiance, she's walking with me. She finally got to see how much my putts improved. Uh, I can't wait to get a video out about that. Uh, first round went pretty good. I had one bogey, and it was a silly mistake on top of another silly mistake. I couldn't get up and down, so I took a, took a bogey. Uh, shot 12 down, that's 18 holes, all par threes. Relatively shorter course. Uh, I don't know where that puts me, but uh, we will find out. But I'm gonna get me another bowl of chili, and then I'm gonna sit here and relax in this, you know, freezing Florida temperature ice bowl and uh, I'll check in with you guys after the tournament what's up everybody just got back home it's a little dark as you can see oh, oh we got a little light on wow I'm exhausted um that was the most mentally challenging round I think I've ever played um I'll give you a little quick little info on it it's a charity tournament um it's a cheap entry fee so it's a charity okay. tournament it's our ice bowl um, every year, there's mulligans uh, that are for sale. Buy as many as you want. Those that don't know what a mulligan is, mulligan is, say you throw a bad shot, say you miss a putt, say you just do something stupid. You go, oh, I'm going to use a mulligan. You rip up your ticket, and you get to rethrow your shot, no penalty. I've never bought them. Even though it is for charity, even if I have bought them, I've given the tickets away because... I don't know, tournament, redoing my shots, I'm not a fan. But uh, I had a one-stroke lead going into the second round. Um, me and this guy were battling through the first four or five holes. I think I, I maintained that one-stroke lead. And then he did his first mess up. And I'm like, there you go. I'm going to get two, maybe three shots on him because I'm, I'm sitting for a birdie and he's looking at four. And he ended up going with a mulligan. I'm like, oh, okay. He's got he's got some mulligans. Okay, I get you. It's charity. I'm okay. And we keep going. And he does it again. And he pulls another mulligan. I'm like, oh. And that's how the the round ended up going. We're three or four holes left, and we're tied at this point. Uh, you know, I took a, a silly bogey. I did the same. I bogeyed the same hole both rounds. It's just so silly. And so now we're tied. And he does it again. Then he pulls another mulligan. I'm just like, oh my god. It's so the emotional stress of taking a bogey or gaining a stroke, possibly two strokes, and the excitement and the, the satisfaction that you've been grinding and busting butt it gets ripped away a half second later. That emotional roller coaster, holy whew, wow. Um we get to the last two holes. Yeah, I have a couple 30-footers left, and if I make both of them, I'm going to force a playoff. Uh, I chastity belt the first one, right into the band, dead on the pole, just crushed the band, and I actually still have a chance. I have a chance to tie him on the last hole. He throws a bad shot. He could possibly see a four from it, and he burns another mulligan. Throws an eh shot, but it's a guaranteed three. And so now I got a birdie to tie. And I put it out about 35 foot left of the basket and just cage it. Dead on pole again and then just cage it. Uh, and I lose by one shot. Oh, it's so, oh, so stressful. That is, that roller coaster. Oh my goodness. I'm so, it was cool. It was a, it was a charity event. And, you know, those mulligans, all that money and proceeds went to the local charities. But it's so stressful. So uh, it's it, it's good to know that I, I probably would have won by four or five strokes at least. And uh, so I'm happy. I'm still happy. Second place is still second place. It, it's still a good showing. Uh, first legit tournament with all Prodigy Bag. 
Uh, I was I threw my PA3, my H1, and my M2, and that's all I threw. Um, the H2 I was throwing into about a 15 mile an hour headwind, and it would just hold. It held it, it, about 350 foot and just held dead straight all the way there. Loved it. it, it that, that I'm gonna be leaning on that disc in any kind of headwind conditions for sure. The H1 side armed it, side armed it, side armed it, side armed it so much. Uh, loved it. Uh, the PA3. Anything 300, 350 and in that was open enough, I threw it. It was standstills. It was drives. Freaking amazing. It is now, oh, wow. It's probably 6, 7, 6 or 7 o'clock now. I got to be up at 3 a.m. to make a three-hour drive over to Tallahassee and compete in the South of 64 Series event at Tom Brown in Tallahassee, Florida. It's a one-day event, two rounds at the new layout Woo! Let's go. So, first first tournament done. Let's go see. We're we're gonna really stretch 9,200 foot course. That's pretty beefy for our area and elevation. So we're gonna be we're gonna be some tire cookies tomorrow. But uh, until tomorrow, guys.